crazy is my hair? <laughs> I'm finally back into the swing of things. I don't know how it happened. It just kind of did. And what I mean by the swing of things is I'm just in like a good eating and fitness routine, you know? I knew it was time to start making some moves to put in the effort because I was feeling like shit a lot and we don't like that. We do not like that. And you know what's really been helping? The fact that it is unseasonably warm. We've been having so many sunny days and I'm really into my little stepper right now. Like that little bad boy has been getting so much use. And also I completed the 30 day yoga flow series that Yoga with Adrienne just put out for the month of January. And that was really fun. And also my eating has been so much better. I have not been snacking on so much garbage. I've been really good at work. And even right now, I'm like, I want a snack. You know what we're gonna have? Carrots and tzatziki dip instead of bread. going out for dinner tonight with Grant's mom and brother. But until then, like I'm so hungry, but there's so many things on the menu that I want to eat. So I want to make sure I got room for those things. You know what I mean? So in all transparency, I am back on my calorie counting bullshit. We'll see how long it lasts again this time, but I'm doing pretty well so far. It really helps me to avoid eating like a ton of stuff at work that I shouldn't be eating, like having a scone and then having a queen of mon and maybe having a little little sandwich on a croissant later. Like that, those things right there, that's my daily calorie intake. And that's not doing me any favors. There's not very much nutrition in there. So we need to avoid doing that as much as possible. They are a treat for times when we need a treat. I always fall into eating like the same things over and over again. Cause so I just eat those things a lot. And then after a while, it just becomes really easy to like find them in my favorites. So I'll just choose them from there. And then everything's Gucci, baby. How many carrots did I eat? The serving size is about six. Well, I had two, I had 12 carrots. So we had a whopping 60 calories of carrots, you guys. We're going to Hefe, I believe it is called, in Minneapolis. And the menu looks so good. Look at all that good stuff. We got tacos, we got shareables, we got yuca fries. I'm so excited. I'm still hungry though, so I'm having a cheese string. Sorry, I'm having two cheese strings. Probably because the dogs are gonna be like, excuse me, where's our cheese string? So I'm gonna have to share with them, you know what I mean? No, see, they're already coming running. They know, they heard it, they know. <laughs> what do you want? Oh no! <laughs> bunch of vultures, I tell you. The rest is for me. They hear you rip those things apart and they come running. It's like a cat with a treat bag. They know what cheese strings sound like. All right, you can have one more piece each. <laughs> those teeth. Good job. Okay, all done. All right, for real though, this is all I'm having until we go to dinner because I need to save room. There's nothing worse than going out for dinner where there's good food, but you're full and you are not hungry. There's nothing worse than that. But also you don't want to be too hungry because then you have like one bite and you're full. It's like, you gotta balance it out. Wish me luck until then. And then it was time to head out for dinner. The restaurant itself was dark, dark as a vampire cave. And there was this hot portrait of a lady in the washroom. She looked pretty cool. And then I got a Mexican Coke for fun to have a little drink. And Grant got some spiked horchata. We all shared some yucca fries, yucca, yucca. And then I got birria tacos, Grant got enchiladas and the other two got some pan seared red snapper, I think it was. Everything was delicious. And I was so full after I wanted to burst, but I somehow survived and enjoyed the drive home being passenger princess. Good morning, my dudes. We are going grocery shopping. We're at Target right now because I figured out this is where my cheapest groceries would be. I did have to stop at a different grocery store just for these things that I'm obsessed with and love, but Target doesn't carry these. So I had to stop somewhere else to get those. So I did that already. And now we're going to Target and I could have just gotten all of my groceries at the other store, but I put everything in my carts in like both apps and it's like $30 cheaper if I come to Target and it's no spend February. So no frivolous purchases, no going to unnecessarily expensive grocery stores where we can save $30 getting a couple things just coming to Target. So 
that's what we're doing. That's what we're gonna do. Here we go. Target time. All right, we're back from the grocery store. Here's our delightful delights. Um, so you know how I said I priced everything out between the two grocery stores and I was gonna go to Target so it'd be like $30 less. Maybe I should have just gone to the other store because like so much stuff at Target was just out of stock and just gone. And I watched this lady doing like an online order swoop in in front of me and steal the last four cucumbers. What do you need four cucumbers for? I just wanted one or two, I don't know. But now I don't have cucumbers and I'm really sad about it. Psh, stupid. But let's see what we got. We got some crisp breads. I got light rye and a whole grain. Had to go to a different store to get these. And then beside them, I got sucked in by their display marketing, laughing cow cheese. Did you know these only have 25 calories in one little wedge? I know they're not that big, but like these together, what a good little snack. Some turkey on the side, I'm excited. I had to buy a huge jug of apple juice because I really only need like a little tiny individual one for this like pork recipe that I'm making, or not pork, this cabbage recipe that I make. But they only had huge ones, so now I have an entire jug of apple juice. At least it tastes good. Say what you want, but I love Cool Whip with all my heart. We got some mayonnaise. We got some canned chicken. Some oven roasted turkey breast deli slices. Good for a little protein kick, a little salty snack. Cottage cheese. One of those things that I always forget how much I love it. Scrambled eggs or like with crackers or, it's just so good. We got some cream cheese some cheese strings, because I love cheese strings with all my heart, and some shredded Colby Jack, because I have pickles and I really want to make that like chickle, where you just put some cheese in a pan and it gets all crusty and melty, and then you roll a pickle in it. I want to make those real bad. Since so many things were out of stock, I couldn't get a lot of the veg that I wanted to, but I got a bag of frozen broccoli. Broccoli cuts, so we all know it's gonna be like 90% stems, but it's literally the only one they had in stock. Remind me to never go to Target on a Monday morning, even though that's my favorite time to go. A little packets of tuna, very delicious. Got a little box of fruit and cream oatmeal because they're so good. And I always forget how much I like them and enjoy them. It's just like a small little warm, sweet treat. But they only had the mixed variety box, so that's what we have. I've never had the bananas and cream one, and I think I'm probably gonna, just like really gonna love that. I got some rice cakes, everything rice cakes. Another one of those things that I always forget how much I enjoy them and just like having them as a snack. Cause here's the thing, I'm a snacker. I like to snack. So I need to have things that are not gonna like blow my whole caloric intake for the day out of the water, you know? 50 calories for a little rice cake, sign me up. I love them. I love the texture of rice cakes so much. They're so nostalgic cause it's just like one of those things that my mom always had at home. Picked up two boxes of my favorite little couscous, the roasted garlic and olive oil. This is one of my treat yourself things, but it's not like a bad treat. I just got some salmon, some teriyaki salmon. And now for the treats. I bought a bag of salt and vinegar chips. <laughs> Sometimes you just need like a little salty, naughty crunch treat, okay? And then for the naughty, sweet crunch treat, I bought a package of Oreos. But you know, in four of them, it's only 140 calories, crushed up, hear me out, crushed up in some Cool Whip. There's a dessert right there. Satisfying, delightful, an onion. Delightful for my little cabbage thing that I'm gonna be making. And then this weird strip of smoked turkey sausage. Never had this before, so I hope it's not disgusting, but this is also for the cabbage thing. And that's what we got at the grocery store. What should I have for breakfast? Cause now I'm starving. Also place your bets. How much did this all cost? Not including the things I bought at the other store, just this stuff. Place your bets. I'll give you five seconds. It was $70. Oh bow, 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 bow. This is definitely the most expensive thing that I bought because meat tends to be that way, doesn't it? Stupid meat. Now that it's time to make some lunch, I'm gonna heat up some olive oil into my Dutch oven on the stove. And we're just gonna add some like, uh, what do you call this? Quartered up cabbage into here. You just kind of want to like brown it a little bit. So you turn them over once they're nice and toasty brown. And I did this in two batches because 
only four pieces fit at a time. It's a little bit tricky to flip them over when they've started to get a little bit soft, so I, sometimes I just end up using my hands. And once the cabbage is done, I just add some chopped up bacon into the pot and let that kind of render out and get a little bit crispy. You don't remove the fat, you actually leave the fat in there, delicious. And I add some sliced up onions so that they can get nice and bacony and delicious. And once the onions are about halfway cooked down, I add in some sliced up turkey sausage so it can kind of absorb the flavors of the onion and just meld and get really, really delicious. And then once the onions seem a little bit softer, add in half a cup of apple cider vinegar. Let that reduce about halfway and then you add in some apple cider or just like a really good apple juice. And then you add your cabbage back into the pot, nestle it in there as best as you can. It's a little bit tricky to fit it all in. It's definitely, you definitely kind of end up just shoving all the cabbage in there. Like I, maybe I'm supposed to use a bigger pot, I don't know, but eventually it fits and you just put a lid on that. Let that sit for about 20 minutes and then you flip them over don't steam your camera too much and you flip the cabbage over however at this point it's really soft so it's kind of impossible to keep it together but you do what you can and it just turns into this big delicious mush and it's uh just very very tasty oh <laughs> i think i accidentally left it uh, a little too long <laughs> it has it has shrunk quite a bit It's lunchtime, it's done. Can you see? It just turns into this like melted down, delicious, soft, cabbage-y, onion-y, bacon-y deliciousness. The best part is that I put this recipe into chronometer to like figure out the calories and stuff. And I divided it into four. And then so each serving is like 370 something calories, which is really low. And I kind of think maybe I should double check that because the amount of delicious things that are in here, it doesn't seem like it should be that low. It feels like it should be higher than that. But I won't complain because this is so warm and comforting and delicious and I, I just love cabbage. I love cabbage and I love bacon and apple and all this stuff. <laughs> We're back with dessert, Oreo thins and Cool Whip. <sighs> just feels so ripe. What a perfect and delightful little treat. One of my favorite things about counting calories, not overeating, having more energy, is that because I have more energy, I find myself cooking more and wanting to cook more. Whereas if I'm just eating garbage food all the time and I don't feel good and I don't have energy, I don't wanna cook. Like it's the last thing that I wanna do. So even if I am starting off my little journey by eating a lot of prepackaged, you know, kind of pre-made foods or just like snack foods like tuna and crackers and stuff like that. It still helps me get over that hump so I have the energy and the desire to cook again. Because I go through waves. Sometimes I hate cooking. Sometimes I like cooking. Like, what am I doing now? I'm making meatballs. I don't have anything to eat with them. I don't have any vegetables. Well, I have broccoli. But that's about it. So, yeah. Meatball for you. Meatball for me. So I'm making like big honker meatballs here um, for really no reason. Just because I had ground beef and I was like, let's cook. Let's friggin' cook. Let's do something with that. So here I am making meatballs. You gotta take those baby steps so you can start taking those bigger steps. You know, baby steps for me are just to just start tracking. Just see the garbage I'm putting in my body, why I'm feeling like shit all the time. And then from there, we do little baby steps. It's that simple. Let's be serious though. There's a really good chance that I fall back into my old ways. I fall back into eating like shit and I fall back into feeling like shit. Cycle continues. However, I'm not gonna let that stop me for now. We're on a roll, you guys. We're on a roll. We're doing good, we're feeling good. Doing well. We're doing well. I already did my workout for the day, so my legs are not, not enjoying that. Eat like shit, feel like shit. And that's the cycle that I tend to fall in. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, over and over. That's what happens. Have I narrowed down why this happens? Absolutely not. Do I think I ever will? 
Probably not. No, I don't think I ever will. <laughs> Simply because of the amount of people in the world who do the same thing that I do, you know? Some of us are just born to be snackers, you know? <laughs> I'm not a scientist, don't quote me on this, okay? I'm still of the opinion that the weather is having the biggest impact on me at this moment though, because it's February 6th in Minnesota right now. We should be under a lot of snow. We should be having freezing cold days. However, it's 54 degrees out right now. It is sunny, it's glorious. Literally weeds have started growing again in the garden because they're like, ooh, is it springtime? Is it springtime? Let me pop up, baby. And I'm like, guys, it's February, go away. And I know that um, a lot of people are very upset about this very warm, mild winter. It's bittersweet for me because I do miss snow so much, but I love the having the sun here. The sun is really up in my mood this year because last year, Winter was really, really rough on me. <sighs> so I'm just gonna enjoy this while I can. We're in the groove for now, and I'm gonna just enjoy being in this groove for now. I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna worry about falling out of the groove because realistically, it's probably gonna happen at some point, but let's just keep this rolling for as long as we can, you know? I'm just feeling good, and so I feel like I want to just like be good, you know? It's feeling nice. <sighs> Anyway, so here's what the meatballs look like. Look at these hot little meatballs. They might look a little dry because they've cooled down by now, but I promise you they're like really freaking good and super moist and soft and so tender and delicious. God, I love meatballs. I literally just sat and I ate a bowl of meatballs in my office. It was really good. They're only 125 calories each. Meatballs, meatballs. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.